In this video, we'll, we'll be discussing sketching graphs of the following form. y is equal to ax squared plus q. We know that this is a parabola. So first things first, we need to look for the sign of a. If a is positive, then the shape is like a smiley face. If it's negative, it's like a frowning face. So our first step is sign. Then we need to find the intercepts, both y and x. And then we need to look at the shift, which is q, as well as obviously the turning points. So minus 4, instantly you know that the graph is going to shift down by 4 units. You can see that there's a 2 which is positive, meaning that it's a smiley face. So a is greater than 0, like we've just said, is positive. It's greater than 1 as well which means it should be relatively wide and there will be a relative minimum at the point 0 minus 4. In this case we're just saying q but we know that it's going to be minus 4 because when I plug 0 into x I get 2 times 0 which is 0 and I'm left with minus 4. There we go. Step 2, let's find the intercepts. So let's say for instance, the x-intercept first. Whether you do the y-intercept or the x-intercept doesn't really make a difference. So start with the x-intercept. Let's say where y is equal to 0. We plug that in. We say 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 4. As follows. We then take the negative 4 and change it to positive 4 and put it on the left hand side. We then divide both sides by 2 to cancel out the 2 next to the x squared. This leaves you with 2 is equal to x squared. So let's cancel them out as follows. There we go. And now we take the square root of 2 and the square root of x squared. Now always remember. When you take the square root of x squared, the square root of the other side, for instance, in this case, 2, will always be a plus or minus answer. It's never just a single positive or negative answer. As you'll see now, I'm changing the sides across. It doesn't make any difference to the equation. But we'll say x is equal to the square root of 2, plus or minus. Make sure not to forget those. Minus square root of 2 and 0. And it's equal to the square root of 2 and 0, two different answers. Which means that as you shift your parabola down along the y-axis, the two arms of the smiley face move through the x-axis, cutting it at minus square root of 2 and at positive square root of 2. Now let's do the y-intercept. Over here, we make x equal to 0. First off, we write our equation. The equation is f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 4. Now, 2 times 0, any number times 0 is 0. So you're left with 0 minus 4. But in other words, you're left with minus 4. So you're left with 0 and minus 4 as your y-intercept. And as we said earlier, that minus 4 in the equation makes you shift downwards by 4 units. And your y-intercept is clearly showing that. So this must be correct. Now let's do step 3. Let's determine the turning point. We have y is equal to 2x squared minus 4 again. We say our a is positive. Therefore, we've got a smiley face turning point. And it's 0 minus 4 again, just to repeat. Step 4. We need to plot this graph. We know that we've got minus square root of 2 and 0 as well, one x-intercept, and square root of 2 and 0 as our other, with a positive sign in front. We also know that our y-intercept is 0 minus 4. So let's plot these three points. There we go, so there's 0 minus 4. That one's done. We then do minus square root of 2 and 0, and that one's done. And then we do the square root of 2 and 0. 
that one's done, and we plot our graph. We say our graph's called y, and it's equal to 2x squared minus 4. The domain is for all of x numbers in the real realm. As you can see, it, turns, it tends from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity from the left to the right. The range, however, is limited to all numbers that are higher than minus 4. So we say y is greater than or equal to minus 4. You can even say y is an element of the real numbers. And these are your parameters for your domain and range. Now, another thing that we should take into account is the axis of symmetry. In this case, there's been no shift left or right because this is still grade 10 functions. And we say that the axis is x is equal to zero, which cuts this graph right down the middle.